Hi there, happy Earth Day, Mother Earth Day. It's Maud Barlow from uh, Cochabamba, Bolivia. I'm here with a bunch of friends and colleagues uh, from the Council of Canadians, the Blue Planet Project, and people from all over the world, and lots of folks from Canada. We're here because the government of Bolivia and the social movements in Bolivia have invited the world's climate justice movement to come here and uh, as a kind of middle step between Copenhagen and Copenhagen in Copenhagen and Copenhagen, the next co co uh, summit in Cancun, Mexico, uh, as a as a climate justice movement, and we're here because we're, of course, very concerned about our government's terrible position. We're the only government in the world to have signed Kyoto and then changed its mind, um, and of course, we're doing that because we're protecting the in in energy and profit-making interests in the tar sands. So we're here just to say how very angry we are about that and to try to tell that story. We're here to support the climate justice movement and our motto is change the climate, uh, change the system, sorry, not the climate. Um, so we're really taking on all the issues of market capitalism and economic globalization, and the notion of unlimited growth, um, the way food is produced and so on. Um, and we're here very, very critical of our government's position on debt. We really feel that the Global North owes the Global South a great debt. One of the things that has been most moving here is, is hearing about the glaciers melting and the terrible devastation that it's doing to communities and whole cultures and whole peoples are having to move off their mountain communities that have been there for untold centuries and they're moving into slums in the city because they have no place to go, they're running out of water. So this is kind of one of the first phases of climate change, but it also is a first phase of the water devastation and climate change. We're also here as part of the water justice movement because this is the 10 year anniversary of the win in Cochabamba, Bolivia, where Bechtel, the big uh, engineering company that had set up an awful water company, was kicked out of uh, the country, and, and the people who'd risen up against this company um, actually won. So this was a 10th anniversary, so it kind of came, coincided really nicely with the calling of this meeting. And so we're here to try to say that it's important that we not divide these issues and divide these movements, and the climate movement is the water movement, and the water movement is the climate movement, and we can't have justice for one without justice for the other. There are, they expected something like 8,000 people here. There are, uh, I heard this morning, 41,000, so it's a little bit chaotic. Um, very fabulous, though, in terms of the peace and the beauty and the welcoming. The police are here to help you find your way. <laughs> they all kind of know where all the buildings are, and they're here to make everything work, as opposed to intimidating anybody. So it's quite a different experience for us in every way. Fabulous panels. A lot of the panels from Europe were able to make it because of the movement eruption in Iceland, but it didn't it didn't deter from the fabulousness of all this coming together. So just on this uh, this Mother Earth Day, I say hello and love from uh, Cochabamba, Bolivia, where people are living on the front lines of the assault of the global north and our capitalist system on uh, on people's lives and livelihoods. And we have to we talked here a lot about solidarity, building north south movements, building movements between food, water, and uh, climate. Understanding that it's justice and charity that moves us forward. So, love to all, and we'll see you back in Canada.